The sex assault allegations against Virginia's lieutenant governor are now set for a public hearing. A Republican leader in the House of Delegates says he plans to hold a committee hearing to allow the two women who accused Justin Fairfax of rape and sexual assault to be heard. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox talked to a local prosecutor today about the difficulties of prosecuting well-known people. Someone is, is presumed innocent, so you always have to keep that in mind. Nicole Whitman has been a prosecutor for 25 years, and now she's running to become Loudoun County's Commonwealth's attorney. She cannot speak about the Justin Fairfax case, but she says if she heard about a sex assault alleged to have happened in her county, she'd look into it. So you might actually pick up the phone and try to reach out to the victim sure. yourself? Sure. I mean, that's that's part of my job. I'm a public servant. I'm law enforcement myself. So even if the allegations happened years ago? Absolutely. Virginia has no statute of limitations on any felony crimes. Whitman has put numerous sex offenders behind bars, including a well-known public official. Michael Gardner was a political party leader in Falls Church, his wife a city council member, when he was accused of molesting three little girls. He was convicted and sentenced to 20 years. When it comes to something as horrific, especially as sexual assault, people have a natural inclination not to want to believe it because this public person, whether it's you know someone on television or somebody in their local community who they know, who they have revered, uh, they don't want to believe it because then it causes a little bit of self-doubt for them too because this person that they thought was you know, to be trusted in every way, all of a sudden has breached that trust. That made it difficult. It made it difficult for these three little girls and their family who lived in that community because people were upset with them and looked for all different kinds of ulterior motives. Why would they be saying this about these beloved figures? They attacked the victims. They absolutely did. You know, you see it in cases like, you know, Bill Cosby, for example. And now, thanks to, you know, different women's movements and victims' movements, it's opened up um, a place where victims can feel more safe. In Leesburg, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Justin Fairfax has called for full investigations for both accusations against him. He says he's innocent and that both encounters were consensual.